Come in. You wanted to see me, Mr. Springer? Oh, yes, Miss White. I want to say how pleased I am by the way you have adapted to things here. Both the teachers and the children seem quite satisfied with you. Thank you. There are some problems with the kids I want you to pay particular attention to, one of which is confidence. It seems no matter how hard we try, the kids always doubt themselves. Have you noticed that, Miss White? In most cases, yes. But I think it's a natural sort of reaction. I want you to come up with some suggestions as to how we can instill some confidence in them. to join the class. I came to find out if some kids can join. How many? Nine. Not all by any chance? No. I'd love to have them. There might be a slight problem. What kind of problem? They're all handicapped in some way. Oh, I see. If they learn to defend themselves, I think it could go a long way in building confidence in them. Self-defense is really only a part of what we teach here. We teach discipline and self-reliance. We try to build the power of concentration, build inner strength as well as physical fitness, instill determination, stress service to our fellow men, as well as respect and love for God and all his teachings. I like what you teach. We toughen the mind as well as the body. Will you take that? It would be an honor and a privilege to do so. About the fees? Let's see. It's on the house. What have you been doing with yourself the last few years? Okay. Painting? What else? I have my studio at home where I spend a couple of hours every day. You enjoy it? When I stop enjoying it, I look for a regular job. Does it pay? 
My dear Con, no artist can ever hope to make money. By the time your name becomes known, it's about time to die. But you still do it. A true artist can never stop. It's something inside that drives you on and on. You ever stop to think what would have happened if you had accepted my proposal? I think of it all the time. But it wouldn't have worked out. I have this urge to do something with my life. Be somebody. I can tie myself down to a life in Tobago as the wife of a struggling businessman. I wanted to see New York, London, Paris, especially Paris. And I had to paint. You would never have understood that. I never stopped thinking of you, you know, all these years. I thought of you too sometimes. Do you think Ruth ever suspected about us, Annie? I'm sure she knew. What makes you so sure? A woman knows these things. She never hinted even once she suspected. That was the kind of woman she was. I always knew that she was going to make some very lucky man a very good wife. It was only after you left that I began to see the exceptional qualities in you. First, I wondered if I was using her as a substitute for you. But I saw so many differences between you, and I loved her for herself. But every now and then, you would flash through my mind. And I wonder. Next on Turn of the Tide. Wake up, boy. Wake up, boy. Mm -hmm. What you was doing last night make you can't wake up this morning? Me ain't do nothing. I'm Mr. Ugly to you. Who oh, he? What do you want? He say he have to talk with you post now. I don't like the idea you going and work in Trinidad, you know. I love big man now, Louise. I could take care of myself. With all them girl in Trinidad, you go forget me, Roy. You think I could forget you, Louise? I see it happen all the time. You're going to meet some other girl and you go forget about me. Thank you. 